Hey everyone, so welcome to day 8 of my 12 days of Christmas, and today are... Today are is... Today are... <laughs> today is my 8 favorite makeup products. Now I'm going to give you 7 of my favorite and then 8 one that I would say be aware, beware of. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one that I am going to share with you guys is this, and I actually received it as a birthday gift, which was like such a generous birthday gift because... It's pretty expensive. I'm pretty sure this is like close to $50 or close to $40 at least, but this is the Urban Decay De-Slick Makeup Spray. Now I love this stuff and my strategy for it to work the best for me personally is after I've freshly washed my face and I moisturize, I let my moisturizer sit in for a good 5-10 minutes and then I go ahead and spray this on and then I let that sit in a good 5 minutes and then I go ahead and use primer and everything. So that's going to be my next product that I'm going to share with you is the Benefits Porefessional. Now I have really large pores and extremely oily skin. Um, I tried to get up close as possible so you guys can see, um, but once I have better lighting and better camera equipment I'll be able to like give you guys a clear view of how big they are, but like this stuff, it's amazing. Like I'm out of it. I've just been like literally like squeezing it to death trying to get the rest as much out as I can but I really love this because it, it gives a matte finish to my face and also it disguises my pores very well compared to um, I actually have the this isn't one of my products but I have the baby skin and this is good but it's not like the professional it's good but it's not like the professional if you would say you don't have you kind of like medium size pores that are not like super large, baby skin would probably be perfect for you, but those of you that have really large pores, the Porefessional will probably do the trick for you. So that's my second product. And my next one is the Revlon Colorstay Foundation, and I know that you guys have heard so much about this. If you watch, you know, like makeup videos anywhere, um, a lot of people rave about this stuff, and it's the drugstore foundation. Um, the only problem I have with this is it is so hard to find a color match for my skin type, I, my skin tone. Um, so I have to mix, and what I've been doing is mixing this with Urban Decay's Naked Foundation, which is another, like, splurge thing that I did, which I liked it, but it's too dark for me now, so I mix it with this, and it's, like, perfection. But this is the lightest shade, and this is 110 Ivory. But I really love this because it stays on my skin. Since I have really oily skin, um... Other foundations tend to like melt off, like literally slip and slide off. So if I wanted to like dab my skin throughout the day or whatever, like this usually stays on looking nicely and not like coming off with like, for example, like uh, the paper that you use to blot the oil. I don't know how to explain it. I use toilet seat covers, okay? Like they're the same thing. Um, but like the foundation would just come off and that's going to be my hair my beware product that I'm going to share with you um, and I'll do that next just because it's like goes along with this but I I wish I wish I love this foundation like I wish I did because so many people like it but I just do not it does not work with my skin whatsoever I wish that their color selection would switch over to the Revlon color stay because L'Oreal True Match has three different categories of different colors that you can choose from. Like literally they have every single color that you need to find your skin tone and it's like perfect. The one thing that I just, this does not work for me is literally the second I start getting oily it starts melting off my face. Like just melting. Like you can watch it like falling off my face and so literally after like maybe two hours this looks really bad on my skin. So if you have really oily skin I would highly suggest steering clear of this because it's just not worked well for my really oily skin type. So my next product I'm going to share with you is, you saw this in my uh, lipsticks video, the first one I think it was, but this is a staple red lipstick. I love wearing red lipstick. I feel creative and like I'm expressing myself and this is NYX. Um, Bloody Mary, and I showed you that in the first video, so if you didn't see it up close, you might want to go back and check that out. Um, and then my next one is this brush. It's my foundation brush. I love it. I, it's The br bristles are compacted close to each other, um, which makes for really nice blending, and this is the Real Techniques. Um, 
I don't know what it's called, but it's gold, and you might see a lot of beauty gurus on here who have this, but I really love that. The next brush I'm going to share with you is my powder brush, and it's just super soft. This is an e.l.f. brush. It cost me $3, so it's really soft, and it's great for just applying your setting powder. Then my last product I'm going to share with you is this eyebrow pencil, and it's from the brand Essence, which you can purchase this at Ulta, and it's so inexpensive. It's like the most inexpensive makeup brand that I actually really love. Um, I believe this was $1.99 and it matches my blonde eyebrows perfectly. So this is in the color 04 Blonde, so if you wanted to check that out. It comes with a little brush on the end to kind of brush out your brows, but it matches my eyebrows perfectly. Let's go ahead and move on into the story. Um, today I'm going to be reading... This section is called John the Baptist is Born, and I'm going to be reading verse 57 through... 63 okay and then after this I'm gonna go and calculate like how much I need to read each day because since it's been final this week I like haven't even paid attention I'm just like okay I'm gonna read this much and then this much and this much so I need to like go and efficiently calculate so here we go the time came for Elizabeth to have her baby she gave birth to a son her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had been very kind to her they shared her joy on the eighth day they came to have the child circumcised. They were going to name him Zechariah, like his father. But his mother spoke up. No, she said. He must be called John. They said to her, No one among your relatives has that name. Then they motioned to his father. They wanted to find out what he would like to name the child. He asked for something to write on. Then he wrote, His name is John. Everyone was amazed. There is that part of the story, and if you would like to hear more of the story and also see what my seven favorite things are tomorrow, let me see what it is. Ooh, this one's a fun one. So if you want to see what the seven favorite things are tomorrow, make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you in my video tomorrow. Bye.